Right, I'm here at my next stop on my tour of the Commonwealth. Uh, General Grey on the PS4, and here we are at uh, Green Top Nursery. Green Top, Green Tops, yeah, one of those. Uh, did a bit of work before I um, decided to do the tour. I did a few more bits, um, but yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool, pretty. Intr well, yeah, I like it anyway. It's not a bad, not a bad build. Lots of cool stuff, I guess, if you like that kind of thing, which I do, <laughs> which is why I built it. <laughs> right, nice and scrappy, crappy. Nice, scrappy, crappy. The walls are made out of whatever they could find. And there's a look for that car, that, that truck is already there, I think. I'll put a couple of crates in the back of it for storage. There's a little entryway there. It's like supposed to be a little gateway to, to enter into the into that part of the settlement. Various bits and pieces used in the wall to make the wall nice and uh, yeah, nice and scrappy, just the way I like it. Brahmin pen. Not too many sentry guns. I try to keep those to a minimum nowadays in my builds. Thinking of like, you know, how many of them things you could actually have. Yeah. Rather than using the mess of kind of making my own scrap walls rather than using the pre built scrap walls that were already in there. There's a nice little this bit here. It was this build part of the build here was kind of like serendipitous. I happened I was trying to put a roof in underneath the, the roof that's already there and uh, when it snapped in there was some overhang, so I thought well, I've got to use that overhang, I'll I you know, I'll build on the back of the uh Build on the back, and it's kind of all built up with no uh, snapping. Hardly, oh, I don't know if there's any snapping at all. I had to pull it, get everything in because the, the the floor and everything's une uneven, and yeah. And it's another bit of scrappy wall. Just yeah, made of different different elements. Just to, so people, anyone attacking has to either climb over the fence or get funneled into like a small small area where they can be, be shot at so that there's just a smaller <laughs> entrance here that people can get into so if they're all coming in here they can all be hopefully shot at from uh, yeah by my settlers little guard post not a great deal of uh, decoration I like to use like bits of wire fence or a bit of scaffold end platform ends to uh, to seal off so people can't climb in through that side kind of thing a bit of storage there yeah all right and into the nursery I, I hardly ever do anything with this building to be honest it quite not, it's already in pretty good condition there's no point doing anything with it maybe tacking a few bits to it so there's just, I've just tacked on some sleeping areas here for a couple of workers Again, scrappy, holy with stuff stuck in the holes to to seal it up, kind of thing. This wall mixture of guard posts and scaffolding, different elements again. A bit of scaffolding, a bit of roofing, a bit of plywood. Gives good texture. And also, I think there was a gap there as well, so I had to fill up the gap. So, yeah, it looks, it looks all right. I say so anyway. Right, there's another little guard post on top of here. Keep an eye over in that direction because that's where the sick mutes might come from. Hope you ain't one of them since he had a spy on me. Brahmin, Brahmin pen, a bit storage behind there. There's a little storage for the straw and so it's fertilizer that you get from the uh, the Brahmin. Good for the crops. 
Oh yeah, they're not both behaving themselves. One of the Brahmin is decided to teleport through the uh, through the wall into the nursery part. But there you go. Do we have a little guard post area here? I can patch you up. I forgot to put that bloody wall pillar away. It's terrible. Imagine doing a tour about putting your blinking pillar away. Never mind. Right, let's get to the back, past this scrappy made up wall. Over to this. See, this is where the roof overlapped when I stuck it in under the normal roof, trying to fix the the holes in the in the roof kind of things. See if I can stop it from uh, leaking. And there's one little thing here that I that I didn't go in place properly. I didn't realise it because I come from this direction. This is there's a little chem box stuck inside a, a beer crate and it's it's overlapping so I've obviously moved that since so oh I'm looking at that I'm like oh darn it it looks alright when I put it in there I'm sure it did maybe I just looked at the wrong direction of it so there's lots of nice stuff in here just a, a random basketball hoop why not I need, I want to get a basketball just have it lying around so people can you know play some play some sport something to do in their off time yeah, it's not a bad little kind of narrow build, like a narrow bunkhouse build. Cozy enough for for the Commonwealth. I've seen worse. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden. You should go. The whole place is run by robots. Okay, not put much in there to be honest. It's a couple of beds. Uh, normally, there's a doctor on duty there. Then we have my bar and he's not on duty either because they're embarrassing me by not being in their places. That's a pretty decent enough bar. This room here, I've actually changed that now because I, I did this another one, I did the tour and I'm like, well there's nothing in there but a chair. I've turned it into a library. I've turned it into a library basically. I've put a few bookshelves in there so yeah that has been changed since this tour. And a general store. I guess actually the general store could do some more bloody well um, yes. decoration. It's just, yeah, never mind. Not a great deal in this one either. Just a few beds, cabinets, chairs, the usual. Little bucket for little bucket for doing your your uh, business in in the night. Have a little bunkhouse. See another bucket. All the mod cons here. Every room's got a bucket for crapping in. <laughs> I treat them too well. I treat. Uh, there's no actual other bathroom. That is it. That, the bucket. I favour the bucket bathroom system. And then finally, I built up to the uh, roof overhang here, so you've got some support from this direction. Mainly because people will be on the roof for no really apparent reason. They were just standing there on the roof, so I thought I'd best build up here so they can at least look like they're here for a reason. Yeah. Huh? Other than standing there like a pair of plums. Anyway, that's it. That's my um that's my build. That's my um whatever this place is called again. 